following video, I will show you how to answer question 4 of the January 2009 OCR Core 4 paper. Again, another question on calculus involving trigonometric functions. Let's take a look. Um, it asks us simply to find an integral. Find the integral between 0 and pi by 4 of the function 1 plus sine x all squared dx. Okay, I'm just going to call this function, uh, this integral here, i. Okay, so i is equal to the integral between 0 and pi over 4. The first obvious thing to do with this is to expand the bracket. So I'm going to say that's 1 plus 2 sine x, okay, plus sine x all squared, which a mathematician writes as sine squared x. Okay, all of that integrated with respect to x. Now, it's quite an easy question actually because I can integrate the 1 straight away with respect to x, I can integrate the 2 sine x with respect to x, my only problem is the sine squared x. I can't integrate that directly, but I need to be familiar with the fact that I can use the double angle formulae to help me. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of side work in the double angle formulae again. Coming up all the time. Okay, the double angle formulae. You should know this, so I'm going to write L for learn. This is something you should know. You should know that cos 2x, okay, is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. Okay, and then you should be able to, in one line, rearrange this to make sine squared x the subject. So sine squared x is therefore equal simply to a half 1 minus cos 2x. Okay, you should uh, be very familiar with uh, that formula. You should know it and be able to derive that quickly. Just notice the double angle formula. Cos 2x, that's double that angle. That, if that was 4x, that would be 2x. It's always double. Okay, so instead of integrating sine squared x, I'm going to substitute in this here and integrate that instead. So that my integral actually changes to the following. The integral between 0 and pi by 4 of 1 plus 2 sine x, and I'm going to times this half out, plus a half, Okay, uh, and then minus a half cos 2x, all with respect to x. And now I'm in a great position to integrate because I can integrate numbers, sine x's, and cos 2x's. I'm fine. Okay, let's do it. Okay, in one move, I'm going to just combine a bit. That is the number 1, that is the number half. Together, it's 3 over 2. So I'm going to integrate 3 over 2 in one go. Integrating 3 over 2 with respect to x just gives me 3 over 2x. Okay, now I'll integrate the 2 sine x. Okay, the integral of sine x is minus cos x. So this integrates to minus 2 cos x. And then the integral of a half uh, cos 2x, or minus a half cos 2x, would be minus a quarter sine 2x. Okay, and all of that is between 0 and pi over 4. Now, if you're struggling with these integrals or getting the signs uh, uh, the right way, just remember uh, to always differentiate the thing you've integrated to see if you got uh, the answer back. So, you should be, it should be easy for you to remember that the derivative of sine x is cos x and the derivative of cos x is minus sine x. Okay, so if I was differentiating this back, I would get um, minus sine x, and it would cancel with that minus and become a plus. So I'd get plus two sine x. And if I was differentiating this, I that would differentiate simply to cos two cos two x. Okay, and it would keep the half the way I want it there. So I know I've done the right thing. Now it's about substituting in pi by 4 and 0. So substituting in pi by 4, 3 over 2 times pi by 4 is simply 3 pi by 8. So this is 3 pi over 8. Putting in pi by 4 in here, you get root 2 over 2. So minus 2 times root 2 over 2 is simply minus root 2. And substituting in pi by 4 to here, 
uh, would be working out sine pi by 2, and we know sine pi by 2 is 1, uh, so this would be minus a quarter. That's what happens when we substitute in pi by 4. Putting in 0 in here, I get 0. Uh, putting in 0 in here, I get minus 2. And putting 0 in here, I get 0. So can we work that in one go? This would simply still be 3 pi over 8. I still have a minus root 2. Okay, and minus a quarter, minus minus 2. Well, that's like minus a quarter plus 2. And minus a quarter plus 2 would be plus 7 over 4. And this integral here, the answer to the question for 6 marks, is 3 pi by 8 minus root 2 plus 7 over 4. I hope you found the following useful in your revision for core 4, and in particular calculus with trigonometric functions. Thank you for watching and listening.